everyone and welcome back to my channel today we are doing a small haul video um, just things I bought over the past month yeah I'd say month um, there's a few books and a few supplies but I wouldn't say it's a big haul by any means but we'll just get started on the books so I got Coloring Oceans Mermaids, Grayscale Coloring Book 3 by Daria Draws. And this book is so adorable. I, I, I love her work. She's probably one of my favorites that, you know, does faces like this. And I love to watch her color in her pages. She's amazing. So I got that. I have pre-ordered the Creative Havens Enchanted Christmas by Teresa Goodridge. And I put up a flip through of this yesterday, if you're interested. So I won't go through much of it. super cute and my best friend sent me the fairy and fantasy 3 grayscale coloring book by Christine Karen and so pretty This completed my collection of the Fairy and Fantasy series so far. <laughs> That's cute. So yeah, there's that. And then I had ordered this Hello Watercolor by Jeannie Dixon. Um, creative techniques and inspiring projects for the beginning artist. I kind of want to get into doing the freestyle watercolors and maybe learning how to letter and she kind of goes through a little bit of everything she's got step-by-step -step projects um brush lettering basics all your supplies you need color theories and like uh, how to the different techniques of the watercoloring so it's a really cool book um if you're in, into that sort of thing um which i am i've always loved watercolors so i thought why not and i also today i ordered the dana fox books and i got the watercolor with me in the forest and in the ocean i didn't get the jungle one i wanted to see how i you know thought about the first two so yeah this book has a little bit of everything if you want me to go into more depth about it just leave me a comment below okay now into the supplies <clears throat> i got the new tim holtz um, Distress Ink mini set. And it come with Speckled Egg, Rustic Wilderness, Crackling Campfire, and Kicks Flamingo. <laughs> so, there's that. I didn't swatch these out, so I... They're pretty much true to what's on the outside. Okay. And then, let's see. Okay, I got the Jane Davenport Neutral Palette Set. And, you know, this is more made for skin tones, for sure. But it does come with, like, yellow red and blue and so you can mix up any color you'd like technically 
This is what they look like. Now, it did not come with this metal piece for to have my pans in. It came with this plastic piece, which I did not, it was a, a surprise to me because I have her brights set forever now. I got it a long time ago. It's well loved as you can see. And it comes with this metal piece with whales. So you can mix up colors or whatever you need to do. And it also has the metal for you to put your pans in. So to me, this is cutting corners and making it more cheaply. And that's my opinion. But I had this metal, this extra metal uh, thing, so I stuck that in there. But this is the colors that it comes with: mango, apple, blueberry, dove, unicorn, raven, vitamin C, sand, buff, spice. Kiss Kiss and Coco. So, I'm excited. I want to try these in the um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith books. And see how it turns out for practice. Okay, and then I got the Art Philosophy Pastel Dreams set. And see, it comes with your metal piece with the whales and, and your metal in the middle to hold your pans. So this is what the colors look like for this set. Brown, chocolate, crimson, rose, lemonade, citrus, bumblebee, sea dream, paradise, pool party, icy sky, and lilac rain so pretty I couldn't decide between this one and the Derwent pastel set but I have other sets of these and I, I really like them I have the classic tropical um, vintage pastels and decadent pies so I knew I loved these so that's what I went with Okay, and then I got the Ink Tense um, Paint Pan Set number one. And this is what they look like. And they come with this water brush, but I took the stopper out of the reservoir because I'm not going to keep it in here anyways. So I took it out, but I did swatch these for y'all so you can see. Okay. So, oh, sorry. Aren't those pretty? And I also got the paint palette number two of the ink tints. So, and this is what they were supposed to look like. They, when they got here, they were all jumbled up everywhere. Um, and one was missing. I don't know where it went. I have no clue. It's just gone. But anyway, there's the stopper. I haven't taken this out. But yeah, I looked under it. I mean, I don't know where it went. I mean, the box was brand new. I, I just don't know where it went. But anyways, this is the swatch. Swatches for what I have. <laughs> And that was the white. I want. I put it just a little bit of blue, and then I blended out the white just so I could see how it worked. 
but yeah, aren't those nice? I love those. So I decided to get in there and play with those as well. Okay, then my friend also sent me these Japanese watercolors. I've been wanting these for a long time and I just never, I don't know why I never got them, but she sent them to me. And you get reddish black, yellowish black, greenish black, bluish black, purplish black, and brownish black. Nice big full pans, worth every penny, I believe. Because I have the um, Kuretake um, Gensai Tampies, and I love those too. So, aren't those pretty? Love those. Especially that green. And that, that's such a pretty color. They're unique for sure. So, there's that. And then I got me some Princeton art paint brushes. I've been watching this girl on YouTube. Um, she goes through like the basics of watercolor and she recommended these for beginners. So I got these, they are synthetic hair and they're good for acrylic watercolor and gouache. So, and you get a round number two, a zero, a round number six, and an angle shader of three-fourths. So, yeah, I'm excited to get in there and try those. And then I got these. I swear I didn't realize they were as long as my arm. But these are like weasel sable weasel hair I believe um I don't think they're the squirrel I think they're the weasel I'd have to look it up and see but water brushes like this they hold more water and more um paint and that's why you know people use these um kind of brushes I look how long <laughs> how long that is oh my god but yeah and these washed off because you know they come with with um some gum arabic on them to keep keep them like that so yeah i'll try those too why not um hmm is that all? Did I go through all of it that fast? That was a small haul, I told you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess that's all I got to show you today. If you want an in-depth, you know, more review on anything, just let me know. I'm sure you'll be seeing me use my Derwent pink pans and um, the Jane Davenport if I figure out a good way to do skin with them I'll, I'll definitely show you but otherwise i guess that's all i got for you because i did get some craft stuff but nobody was interested in the craft um stuff so i got i had to re-up on some supplies like my gesso and glue and all that stuff but i do have some more books coming I order some from Book, book Depository. <laughs> so hopefully they'll be here soon. And then I'll definitely go through the Dana Fox books when they get here. So be on the lookout for that soon. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys. All right. Take care and have a great day. Mm -hmm.